diseases of coconut so now we'll see the list of important diseases in coconut so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, coconut the first one is uh, basal stem rot or tanjavur wilt which is caused by ganoderma lucidum or ganoderma aplanatum and uh, bud rot which is caused by pitothera palmivora stem bleeding which is caused by chalara paradoxa a gray leaf spot blight which is caused by pestlosia palmarum leaf blight which is caused by lash odiplodia theobrome leaf rot coldrotrum gliosporites or exorotylum rostratum and root rot or kerala wilt which is caused by uh, petoplasma like organism and the last one is tatipaka wilt uh, which is a unknown etiology which means uh, the causal organism is not identified so far so now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is a basal stem rot or tanjavur wilt why it is called tanjavur wilt because the disease was first identified in um, tanjavur district of tamil nadu so that's why it's called as tanjavur wilt which is caused by ganoderma lucidum or ganoderma aplanatum here uh, uh, coming to the symptoms so symptoms can be seen on uh, various uh, parts like you know uh, stems inflorescence pods and you know uh, nuts and various kinds of uh, uh, symptoms can be seen on uh, 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 when pods changes so now we'll see in detail about one by one so when it comes to the symptoms on stem i don't want to read all the symptoms what are there here so let me tell you in a clear way we can see here something on the stem we can see clearly see some reddish brown color viscous liquid some reddish brown color viscous liquid is exudated from the uh, a basal region of the uh, stem so maybe we can also see uh, at the height of uh, 3 to 4 meters we can see a reddish brown color uh, viscous liquid that is exudated from the stem and it also you know Uh, produce like bracket like uh, fructification that is a fruiting body uh, how uh, the fructification will be that i will show you, show you in the next slide the fructification is uh, uh, which is actually a fruiting body of the fungus ganoderma lucidum that is a causal organism ganoderma lucidum uh, and you know a basal portion of the stem we can see this fructification that is ganoderma lucidum now i will show you the uh, you know uh, the fructification of ganoderma lucidum so we can see clearly see here this is the uh, uh, fructifications of the fungus that is ganoderma lucidum which is actually responsible for this uh, 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 the disease and you know when it comes to uh, stem uh, we have already seen the symptom when it comes to the leaves so here in leaves actually the peculiar symptom is very very important symptom is the, all the leaves will uh, remains uh, uh, drop down very quickly except the spindle leaf alone so if you see this plant imagine it is this plant there are plenty of leaves to coconut right all the leaves will fall down except the spindle leaf so the spindle leaf remains alone on the uh, on the leaves so the remaining all leaves will uh, will drop down so before the drop down the leaves will be slowly converted into yellow color and you know yellowing and dropping of leaves can be seen except the spindle leaf this is the diagnostic and characteristic feature and you know some trees uh, a leaf break and the base of along with the midrib if you see this uh, leaves so that they may be break into uh, uh, a piece is especially at the uh, midrib region so when the symptoms can be seen on inflorescence and nuts so here uh, uh, that is also uh, uh, here uh, the uh, inflorescence and nut we can also see some uh, important symptoms like bratten shredding it is a very common and the flowering also are, are arrested and yellowing of leaves uh, 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 you know especially bratten shredding is very common in inflorescence and nut and you know in the severe cases what will happen the palm content or nuts or number of nuts or kernel weight and water content inside the nuts or copra weight and oil content is drastically reduced it is a very very important one because without inflorescence there is no nuts right so in severe cases all this uh, uh, you know palm content oil content you know uh, copra weight and you know the water content inside the nut all will be drastically reduced when it comes to the roots so decaying of roots is a very common one and the decaying and the death of finger roots are proceeding to the bleeding of a stem and here that is spread through roots that may be by rooting so we know very well that you know that coconut roots can spread very long because it has a very strong root system so it can be spread through you know 70% maybe by roots so coming to the management aspects uh the disease uh, uh, 
plants or stumps or dead palms can be removed and destroyed that is one of the best management practices and pit may be drenched with 1% of bodo mixture that is a, uh, before planting 1% uh, bodo mixture can be drenched and uh, you know the diseased palm may be treated with a solution of ario fungin which is an antifungal antibiotic we know very well that it was uh, antifungal antibiotic that was developed by uh, thirumala chur and it's a very important one for not only for net but also various kinds of exams so here uh, the solution of ario fungin 2 gram and 1 gram of uh, uh, copper sulfate in 100 ml of water uh, uh, can be uh, given in a root feeding way and think uh, uh, in uh, you know uh, uh, when we is, when we enter into applied plant pathology or uh, uh, integrated plant disease management we can see all this uh, what is root feeding what is uh, uh, you know uh, suck, uh, i mean uh, uh, various kinds of com injections you know or different kinds of uh, uh, you know chemical applications that we will see in uh, chemical management when it comes to the next disease the next one is bud rot which is caused by pythopthora palmivora so here uh, uh, the disease uh, uh, can affect in all stages uh, not only in stages in even in uh, uh, you know uh, all kind of uh, stages that the disease can affect and when it comes to the uh, major symptoms so here we can clearly observe there are four pictures can be seen here in the first picture we can see hot leaf right this is a hot leaf so this hot leaf or central shoot come uh, turns into pale in color and the bent over and break down here imagine uh, this is a, a central hot leaf right so what will happen S slowly it will bent over and will break down so the bent over and break down this is the most important symptom what will happen here in the premature falling of uh, the hot leaf or the central leaf which is a bend over and they will break down in later stages yellowing uh, yellowing in, you know you know it is the initial stages when it affect the already uh, four five years old crop or maybe 10 15 years old crop we can see the yellowing and the drying of leaves and the one more important symptom is infected portion will be rotted and produce foul odor so infected fruits will produce foul odor and in, later, in severe cases what will happen uh, the tree will be killed and there is no buds will be produced so coming to the management aspects uh, so it's a better to burn and you know cut off and burn the severely infected uh, uh, plants in the early stages uh, application of bodo paste and uh, crown is very effective and also spraying of bodo mixture 1% or spraying of copper oxychloride at the rate of 0.25 percentage so 15 days interval can uh, can be very effective to manage this uh, prevent this disease so coming to uh, next one stem bleeding which is caused by chalera paradoxa so i don't want to read all the symptoms what are there here i will simply tell you i think we are already seen in the initial basal rot or th uh, thanjur wilt so if you see stem bleeding the name itself indicates a red color or maybe reddish brown color uh, viscous liquid is uh, oozed out from the stem region or longitudinal cracking can be seen that is important when when in uh, root rot only bleeding can be seen right so when in stem bleeding here we can see not only bleeding uh, or uh, you know reddish uh, uh, exudation of liquid but also longitudinal cracking can be clearly seen here and when disease progress what will happen oozing of uh, 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 the dried portion that the stem portion which is bleeded earlier time they slowly converted into black in color and in uh, you know extensive uh, damage to the stem uh, region will be will be definitely we can observe in later stages because the stem uh, stem portion is the major targeting for uh, uh, the stem bleeding that is chalera paradox the targets and you know if you see the leaves yellowing can be seen dry and premature defoliation also can be observed when it's c2 uh, when we see uh, uh, leaves and nut for uh, falling of nuts and you know uh, also can be observed in stem bleeding so when it comes to the management aspects we can see two kinds of management here cultural method as well as chemical method in cultural method it's uh, better to destroy or burn the entire plant or infected plant, severely infected plants if it is severely infected it's better to burn and you know avoid any any kinds of uh, you know mechanical injury while working if there is any such kind of mechanical injuries are there you can better to go with uh, bodo paste and along with 50 kg of formaldehyde manure and 5 kg of neem cake containing antagonistic fungi that is trichoderma we know very well that is a fungal antagonist that is fungal biocontrol agent at the rate of 200 gram per palm per year can be especially given at a, a basin during september time because that is the raining time right and provide adequate irrigation and uh, during summer and drainage uh, it's also can be recommended and uh, recommended that recommended doses of uh, application of fertilizers when it comes to chemical method uh, 
uh, Chisel is, uh, you know, uh, uh, application of a Tridem of 5% or Bodo paste or applying Bodo paste. And applic application of a cold are after one to two days of uh, treated plants. And uh, root feeding with a Tridem of 5 ml and 100 ml of water thrice in a year, especially in, uh, you know, April, May, September, October, or January, February to prevent the spread of these lesions. So coming to the next one, leaf blight, which is caused by lasso diplodia, theobrome. So we can see here we have four slides, right? One, two, three, four. See, in the first slide, we can see the affected leaflets, which are drying, right? So the affected leaflets are drying from tip to backward direction, downward direction, right? So the affected, initially what will happen? The affected leaflets will dry to backward direction. The first, first symptom. So when it comes to the mesocarp, the mesocarp and endocarp will be a decayed. So mesocarp and endocarp, will be, I mean endosperm will be decayed, we can see here. And the endocarp and all the stuff inside will be decayed. And yellowing of leaf, on the fourth slide we can see, yellowing symptoms can be seen. And you know, premature defoliation of nuts also can be uh, observed. And when it comes to the yield loss, it, up to 10 to 25 percent of the yield loss can be observed when it comes to uh, leaf blight infected plants and some cases uh, you know uh, premature defoliation of nuts also can be seen and uh, the uh, one more important one is the spores of uh, lasso diplodia can spread from one plant to another plant through wind so uh, you know uh, so leaves also can be served as inoculum so if there is infected leaves it's better to burn here uh, three kinds of management practices can be seen cultural method biological method and chemical method when it comes to cultural methods so as i said you that uh, severely infected plant leaves can be collected and burnt off and when it comes to biological method application of 200 grams of pseudomonas fluorescence which is a, a bacterial biocontrol agent along with 50 kilograms of farmyard manure and 5 kilograms of neem cake palm uh, per palm per year when it comes to the chemical method spraying of 1% bodo mixture or 0.25% of copper oxychloride two times at 45 in, uh, days interval during the summer months can be uh, very effective and also root feeding with the carbon 2 gram or hexagonazole or tridomorph 2 ml in 100 liter of water three times in a three months interval can be recommended when it comes to leaf rot which is caused by coltotricum uh, gliosporides or exerohylum rostratum so the symptoms the name itself indicate rottening of leaves we can see here root wilt affected palms uh, is the major target for this leaf rot so the first symptoms appeared is in uh, so water soaked brown lesions is uh, uh, can be seen later stages the most important one is the small spots coilages which which results extensive rotting we can see here how much extensively rotted all the leaves right so extensive initially uh, small water soaked lesions later converted into uh, uh, you know a binding of all these uh, uh, lesions and, and you know coalizing right coalizing and you know all the leaves will be burnt sorry uh, all the leaves will be uh, look like rotting like symptoms so sometimes the symptoms will be very acute and you know spear fails uh, or, or you know to upfurling all the stuff where can be uh, uh, seen here uh, uh, the lamina, if the lamina will be dried, it can be easily blown off by uh, wind, giving like a fan shape uh, of leaves. We can see here, uh, if you see the, all the dried leaves, it look like uh, during wind, what will it, it will look like? A fan shape, like wing-like uh, appearance can be seen this uh, uh, in this leaf infected plants. Coming to the management aspects, you know, removal of uh, rotten portions, especially at the spear region. If the spear region is getting uh, or, uh, infected, it's better to remove. Uh, the two adjacent leaves when it comes to the chemical management uh, chemical management uh, you know fungicide solution like hexagonazole 2 ml or mancozip 3 gram in a 300 ml of water but palm tree can be recommended and you know uh, other like you know spraying of bottom mixture or 0.5 percent of copper oxychloride formulations or 0.4 percent of 0.4 percent of mancozip especially in uh, january uh, or maybe uh, in April, May times or September time, uh, thrice in a year can be recommended. Make sure while spraying, care should be taken to spray the uh, uh, spray on the uh, spindle leaves. Next one is root wilt. So it otherwise is called as Kerala wilt, uh, which is caused by Phytoplasma. And why it is called as uh, Kerala wilt? The disease was first reported in Kerala. That's why it's called as Kerala wilt. So the symptoms which includes, you know, the first symptoms appears in leaves of the middle wall and extend to the entire wall. See, we can see the leaves of the middle wall and extend to the entire wall. So especially we can see here, middle leaves are mainly affected. 
right in the second picture we can see middle leaves are mainly affected and uh, spread to the uh, remaining parts also in the first diagram we can see the remaining uh, parts also can be seen and the most important symptom is ribbing and flaxidity of leaves so we can see here flaxidity of leaves and ribbing also can be clearly observed in the in the second picture we can clearly observe the ribbing and uh, you know in the first picture we can also the flaxidity and uh, uh, drooping of leaves is the major characteristic symptom so in later stages what will happen the entire root system will start decaying so as, a, as, a, as we already seen that was caused by mycoplasma like organism so that is transmitted by lace bugs that is uh, uh, staphanitis typicus and when it comes to the management aspects uh, remove all severe diseases I mean disease infected leaves which is very economical and you know uh, the application of 20 to 25 kgs of uh, farmyard manure or maybe application of green leaf manure uh, per tree or maybe 2 kilograms of uh, dolomite or 1 kilogram of lime and you know uh, 500 mg of uh, magnesium sulfate can be uh, recommended and also application of oxy tetracycline hydrochloride which is anti fung i mean uh, antibacterial so this is also very effective and you know uh, antibiotics are uh, uh, reported to be very effective against uh, not only bacterial disease but also some uh, pytoplasmal diseases also so this injection can be given in the interval of uh, you know uh, 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 3 to 4 months so this will be very helpful in reducing this disease so the next one is the tatipaka wilt which is unknown etiology which means the causal organism of the pathogen is uh, sorry causal organism of this disease is not been reported but a few of the report has been reported that the tatipaka wilt is caused by a, a pytoplasma like organism and there are many uh, reports are available and many papers are available that you know the tatipaka wilt is uh, 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 caused by um, you know uh, pytoplasma so when it comes to the symptoms here three pictures can be seen when it comes to the symptoms tampering of uh, stem which is actually uh, on the, at the below the crown region actually they haven't uh, uh, given crown region so the tampering of uh, stem uh, just below the crown region one of the important symptom and another important symptom is twisting of uh, trunk we can see s shaped twisting not only s shaped twist, twisting like snake shaped uh, uh, you know snake like uh, twisting on stem so uh, while we are traveling we can see some uh, plants are like you know coconut plants are like twisting so this twisting s shaped like twisting uh, can be seen that is caused by tatipaka wilt i think that this was first reported in uh, um, you know tatipaka village of uh, andhra pradesh i think uh, that's why it's called as tatipaka wilt so as we see already seen that you know stem below crowns uh, tampering and s shaped uh, bending a uh, bending or trunk below or s shaped bending of leaves we can see on uh, picture thought picture number 3 uh, we can see s shaped bending right and we can also see here like slowly lightly bending right so s shaped bending is one of the important uh, diagnostic symptom and you know uh, the number of leaves uh, uh, is reduced we can see the number of leaves are reduced and also the yellowing of leaves yellowing of leaves also can be uh, uh, observed and you know in a severe cases it won't produce any nuts uh, so it will be uh, you know uh, uh, it will it will be very uh, like it produce almost uh, uh, very less number of uh, nuts or uh, sometimes uh, it produce no nuts when it comes to the management aspects uh, eradication of the diseased plants can be done and a resistant variety is available for this tatipaka wilt that is uh, ganga bondam uh, that uh, this is the resistant variety for this tatipaka wilt that can be planted so coming to the question each and every single uh, disease is very 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 important as is seen that you know uh, ganoderma leaves in which kind of uh, shape it is like you know i mean uh, 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 what is uh, uh, you know etiology how uh, uh, etiology uh, you know basal stem rot uh, each and every single disease that is mentioned is very very important include the symptoms if you see the symptoms also there is many number of lines because we can't conclude in a single line in coconut uh, so while uh, while we were uh, visiting a uh, coconut research station uh, in uh, in between I, I think in kerala so we had a uh, really a great knowledge from uh, uh, i think four five months before uh, we went to uh, kerala a research station coconut research station uh, there they really explained in a very well manner each and every single symptom there is a reason for each and every single symptom here uh, when it comes to the questions or exam point of each and every single disease every single symptom is very very important uh, and when it comes to the pytoplasmal disease that was discussed a lot on uh, last two that is the tatipaka wilt and the other one so that is also maybe vectors can be asked 
so a vision into plant pathology this was a, a book which was published by uh, myself uh, recently so this book is very very useful for uh, you know preparation of uh, not only various kinds of exam but also have uh, uh, having you know great knowledge uh, or uh, those who want to have a great knowledge in the subject definitely this book will be very ideal so interest student may take a look into